Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone. Shalom, Shalom to the elect by Shem Rechak Wadash. My name is Yakabu from Plain Tables Camp. This is a uh, video be the Apostle Tahar and um, Holy Bible Defenders doing a video on this uh, alleged uh, adultery. And you know, if they're going to commit adultery, you know, a woman or a man, they're going to commit it any way that they just need the avenue to do it. So uh, now just because that's a fact doesn't mean you should, you know, help, help the, uh, the person commit adultery. All right. So, um, I'll let the video play. Let me just set the stage here. Elder priest of Baca, the house of Israel, was married to Sister Dania. She even had his name on her toes, the pedicure. They had a falling out, all type of crazy shit was happening, whatever the case is. I believe that she wanted to leave and left. She got with an Old Testament dude in Brooklyn. I think she got with some other guy after that. Mind you, Zabak was going down to D.C. to help or not build FOPE camp because he can't do it on his own, mind you that, because I was already out the pitch. I was down in Augusta, Georgia. So Zabak was coming down there. The House of Israel was coming down there along with the other celebrity Hebrews to come over there and help build a camp that he had no ability or capability to do on his own. But beside the fact, Zabak was coming to the house. It was a fellowship, and they was coming up to New York. Been coming up to New York even with me. You see what I'm saying? So they, you know, kept the Passover with us in the house of Israel. Zabak, we got next, and all that stuff like that. He knows his brother very well. He also know the Hebrew one. Zabak and Daniel was in his house and did interviews and all that. Mighty Hebrew, another brother, Old Testament based. Him and Kornav had a relationship where that was cool. He came to do an interview in his house. And she wanted to leave the Hebrew, the, the mighty Hebrew, and this is what she does anyway. But it's not about her right now. It's the point is that this guy, the Kornav, always talk about somebody about adultery, right? Now, all the women in the world, and he has his one world. He must have her. He must have that Quba. His brother's Quba. It's a box Quba. Then two bulls removed by the Hebrews Quba. And then I figured he said, or was saying during the course of the time, because he said he knew her previously before all of them. Shit, I was supposed to get the Quba. Now two days. I'm gonna get this. I'm going to get this. I got next. Brother, trying to figure out why you, why you all on me? What's the problem, brother? Leave me alone. Last night, so you don't hear that? I like women, bro. I like women. I'm married, 22 years with a beautiful wife. One wife, not a I'm thousand, not a hundred children. I'm not taking care, right? That's what I'm about. And I don't want to avoid the question. If I answer that question, you about? Can I ask the you ask me? But I, I answer you. Let me ask you again. Let me ask it again. I'm gonna give it to you, right? Because I see people in chat saying that you're not answering the question. People are saying you had the box in your house at one time, and you had mighty Hebrew in your house at one time or another, and that woman was married to both of them. Why would you lay with her, knowing that Zabak and mighty Hebrew had her as a wife before you? They're saying that that's adultery. So I'm giving you the floor to answer the question. Well, if if two of them had it before uh, Quanath, that that that's adultery. The person second, the person had him second. So I'm, I guess I would assume that Zabak had her first, and then she went to the mighty Hebrew. I think that's what he said. But I, I no, 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 let, me, let me ask it you. Uh, let me ask it again. I'm gonna give it to you, right? Because I see people in chat saying that you're not answering the question. People are saying you had Zabak in your house at one time. And you had mighty Hebrew in your house at one time or another, and that woman was married to both of them. Why would you lay with her, 
no one does. Right, so mighty Hebrew committed adultery. If Zabak had her first, yeah, because when you come to the faith, your uh, your sins, uh, so to speak, get reset. All right, because she was already an adulterer before, and all of us are already adulterers before. All right, so you come to the faith, it gets reset. So if she's in the faith, then she is uh, clean when she you no know, marries the man uh, that's in the faith. So if she goes outside of that, she commits adultery, all right? If he lays with a, a woman that's already married to another man, he commits adultery. So what they're saying is, I guess he's about to admit it now that uh, he's asking the dude, I guess the, the guy on the left side here is asking, why would you be the third man? So she committed adultery at least twice after Zabak which would be the, the mighty Hebrew, I think, and uh, this guy here, Quanath. So it's adultery. That's Zabak and mighty Hebrew had her as a wife before you. They're saying that that's adultery. So I'm giving you the floor to answer the questions. Go ahead. So, okay, if somebody... So and, and I believe he mentioned he, he, he already has a, a wife. He has a first wife. So... I don't know if that was just sex or something, but still adultery, whether, whether it's just sex or not. So, uh... Knowing that Zabak and Mighty Hebrew had her as a wife before you, they're saying that that's adultery. So I'm giving you the floor to answer the questions. Go ahead. So, okay, if somebody divorced, is that, is that adultery? Um, the floor is yours. So he's asking a question. He's supposed to be the elder, right? And somebody is, so he, I guess that's like a rhetorical question. Oh, she divorced it and it don't mean nothing. No, if you're in the faith, no, you're supposed to remain unmarried. What's that, uh, Corinthians 7? We'll, we'll get it. But uh, you're supposed to remain unmarried and then you're supposed to make reconciliation. All right. The woman's not supposed to just be going around getting divorced and say, well, I'm getting a bill of divorcement. <laughs> you ain't supposed to do that. All right. If I was saying somebody divorced, right? Or you met somebody who already had children, woman already had children, they divorced, and you uh, married that woman, there's a culture. You told it is. Right, right. If I was saying somebody divorced, right? Or you met somebody who already had children, woman already had children, they divorced. And get, get, us on, uh, get him on a technicality. All of us are adulterers. All right? We start off at the very foundation where all adulterers, but when you come to the faith, you be, you you become renewed or clean from your past sins. All right. If if we were to actually not uh, be in a relationship, then then we will be we will be actually not adulterers. All right. But if we're gonna get in a relationship with a woman that's not virgin, un, I mean unspotted from a man, that's the only way we we wouldn't be adulterers. All right. So when you come into the faith, your sins are clean. All right. You're no longer adulterers anymore. And you start from, uh, say, zero. All right. So a woman can had could have previous relationships when she was in the world. All right. And if she she and when you meet her and if she's single, that's acceptable. It's still technically adultery but that's acceptable all right you uh, marry that woman is adultery so it is because a woman can't get another husband unless the husband die right so we all so if you want to say that's adultery then yeah I put it so if you want to say that's adultery then yeah I put it adultery so if you want to but the the woman two differences the woman is a, allegedly in the truth so she's actually responsible for, you know, she's supposed to know, you know, certain, you know, certain scriptures, especially that one. I, I, would, I would think you, she would know that. But uh, yeah, you can't, you can't get with brothers, women that are, that are in brothers, women, whether they're in the truth or not. But you can't get another brother's woman, you know. I'm gonna say that's a dog, and yeah, I put a dog. I'm gonna tell you why because that was some dirty shit. 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 But guess what? I knew her before, uh, Sabah. I knew her before, Daniel, uh, before, uh, Matthew. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house.
Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. But, but guess what? I knew it both times, I knew it both, Daniel. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Hakwadash. All right, so that's the brother's video. Uh, Fopi Elder Quinath, the wicked uh, apostate, adultery is in his heart. So one of his excuses is he he knew he had more right to her. I guess what, he, what he's saying he had more right to her because he knew her before. So she basically just getting passed around. You know, uh, let me pull the scripture. Corinthians, First Corinthians seven and one. Now concerning the things where of you wrote unto me it is good for a man not to touch a woman I mean, he says better to just be just single but that's not realistic all right nevertheless to avoid fornication which means to avoid adultery let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband all right so he's saying yeah get married so you won't be an adulterer so you won't just be sleeping around with a bunch of women a bunch of men all right let the husband render unto the wife due ben benevolence meaning sex and likewise also the wife unto the husband supposed to give each other uh, sexual pleasure the wife hath not power of her own body but the husband and likewise also the husband hath not power of his own body but the wife so supposed to give each other due benevolence meaning sex to fraud ye not one another except it be for with consent for a time that ye may give yourselves into fasting and prayer and again most time women are just playing around like they're in the faith and not really serious so yeah um but you know if she is in the faith then that you would apply the fifth verse um proper gift widows it, uh, but if they cannot contain let them marry for it is better to marry than to burn. This is First Corinthians seven and nine. It says, uh, First Corinthians seven and ten. And unto the married I command ye not I but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. And but if but and if she depart, let her remain unmarried, or be reconciled to her husband, and let not the husband put away his wife. So if they has a the block, I'm assuming it's the first the first husband <laughs> then uh the hebrew something hebrew and then quanath uh, so i guess quanath is still with her because he's a, a elder elder quanath he's supposed to know so so are you supposed to divorce uh quanath or are you still are you still with the woman i don't know uh, but if but but and if she depart let her remain unmarried so she didn't do that and he and he's a elder allegedly, uh, so he's supposed to know that. So if she divorced, let her remain unmarried. So, so he's in violation. How many of these women you think were actual virgins that came into the faith in the ancient world? I, I just want to know people's you know, speculation on that because it doesn't say. Well, I highly doubt that women that were coming into the faith that were single were especially if they, they were coming out of the uh the hellenistic world that they were uh unspotted from a man semen unspotted from a man having sex with with her all right the israelites that were coming into the faith that they were the women they were all virgins i i highly doubt that i don't even think that's even possible even back then all right so if it wasn't going on back then that men were getting virgins why would it why would we get virgins now so women are going to be defiled so when they come into the faith they become clean as simple as that i mean uh yes we're all adulterous but we're clean by the, the washing of the water by the word all right and from that point we uh, move forward with the, no knowledge if she, well she's single then you know you know if you like her deal with her she like you did to deal with her but if she's with a, a man don't deal with her I mean, that's that's the best we can do because otherwise we would we would never be in a relationship either party all right because we're all defiled all right but and as she depart let her remain unmarried so that's the uh the not the breakdown 
but to the rest speak I, not the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she plead, be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. All right. So the Lord really is speaking, but he's saying, you know, it's not in the law. Because technically every woman's, every man's supposed to be in the faith. You know, you're supposed to have the same God. All right. You're not supposed to follow a multitude to do, to do evil, you're supposed to seek the Lord's face. All right. So the Lord said, well, Yahweh said that you, you, Every Israelite is supposed to be in the faith, worshiping Yahweh, worshiping the Son, Yahweh Shai. That's the law. All right. And curse be he that uh, confirmeth not all the words that are written in his book, and all the people shall say Amen. All right. And the woman which hath a husband that believeth not, and if she be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave them yeah because the party that is not unbeliever is supposed to be stoned with stones and be put to death that's what's actually supposed to happen all right so you no know, we can't you know exercise uh no judgment you know in the roman empire in the ancient world and in the new roman empire with america and the various uh, states of the, the new roman empire and around the world so and the uh course that we had to follow as real Israelites uh, anointed Israelites is the Lord is the, ju the judge all right in due time every man woman will meet their reward in the end all right so it's not for us to to judge to, to you do to do a uh, capital pun punishment all right it's for the Lord to execute that judgment all right so I'll leave this brother's video in the description box. And then the apostle's video is kind of long. It goes into various subjects. But I'll leave that there if you want to want to, want to uh, check his video out. Because this is originally where I saw the uh, video. A Fopi Elder Quinath, the wicked apost apostasy. Adultery is in his heart. So his rationalization is that Oh, she's divorced, so he's getting with her, and she's divorced to her brother that was in a faith. So that's the the thing that makes it wrong, because technically every woman that we meet is divorced. All right, but a brother that's in the faith, that's forbidden. Leave that woman alone. She's supposed to be reconciled. All right. So I'll leave that there. Hope you edify. Shalom to the next lesson.